12 signs you are born to be a spiritual healer. Do you ever feel as if you don't belong in this world? As if you cannot fit in or you're isolated? Do you face challenges that seem overwhelming at the time, but you believe that they are preparing you for your life's purpose? Well, there is great news for you. Hello and welcome to Spirit Reads. The great news is that you might have been born to be a spiritual healer and the universe has been preparing you for this wonderful role all your life. People who are born to be spiritual healers often do not have easy or fulfilling lives until they reach a certain age. The universe continues to throw obstacles in their path to prepare them for the difficult yet beautiful role of a spiritual healer. Do you want to know more about this aspect of your spiritual life? Before we move ahead, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more spiritual videos. So, a spiritual healer is someone who helps people who have issues with their spirits, minds, and other unseen aspects of their lives. These issues and problems are spiritual, and not everyone can diagnose and detect them. A spiritual healer, however, is someone who transcends the physical realm to retrieve and heal information about spiritual disease or sickness. They frequently use energy healing, channeling, and other methods to heal. Now let's go through the 12 signs that indicate if you might be one of them. Number one, you have overcome several obstacles. Most spiritual healers must overcome difficult obstacles before they can fully embrace their role as a healer. That is why the universe subjects those with a divine mission as healers to a variety of difficult tests and situations. Most spiritual healers have incredible stories to tell about times when they faced obstacles so difficult that they thought they would never be able to overcome them. Nonetheless, they eventually solved the problem and found their way out because innate spiritual healers are also excellent problem solvers. They would never be able to help others see the light at the end of the tunnel if they did not have problem-solving skills. These obstacles can range from childhood trauma to a lack of resources or illness. Number two, you have anxiety. Each spiritual healer's main battles are depression and anxiety, and they usually go hand in hand. When you are experiencing depression or anxiety, it means that you are disconnected from the divine source. That is because depression and anxiety are characterized by a sense of hopelessness, which can only be felt when a person is cut off from the source. When a person is connected to the source, they are always safe and divinely guided. These dark times, however, are quite normal for most people and even more so for innate spiritual healers, because by learning to reconnect with the source and heal from depression and anxiety, they learn how to heal others. Number three, you feel like you don't belong here. Spiritual healers are usually beings who came to earth from higher dimensions to either pay their karma or learn some lessons or simply to fulfill their mission as healers. They are also very sensitive to energy, so they know deep down that they are not from earth. This can result in a strong sense of not belonging and a strange feeling that something is wrong. This can cause them to experience existential dread or an existential crisis with the strong feeling that they do not belong here. A spiritual healer can sometimes also feel very lonely and disconnected due to this strong feeling that they don't belong. Number four, sensitive to energy. Another strong sign that you are a spiritual healer is that you have always been very sensitive to energy. This includes the energy of other people, places, things, books, and so on. If you're a natural spiritual healer, you can often tell a lot about someone or something just by looking at it. You can't stay in places with a lot of negative energy for an extended period because it will start affecting you much more than it would affect other people who may not even be aware of it. Number five, you are drawn to spiritual things. The fact that you are drawn to all types of spirituality is an important indicator that you were born to be a spiritual healer. As a spiritual healer, you must be well versed in both the spiritual and energetic aspects of life. As a result, to develop this understanding, you will be drawn to all forms of spirituality, including Reiki, karma, religion, yoga, meditation, and so on. The more forms of spirituality you investigate, 
the more you will learn about healing and be able to assist people with various types of problems. Number 6. People Share Intimate Secrets With You As a spiritual healer, you will always radiate a powerful, healing, magnetic energy to those in need of healing or a shoulder to cry on. People will be drawn to share their secrets and problems with you because they will naturally sense your empathy. They will intuitively understand that their secrets are safe with you and that they will most likely receive sound advice and guidance from you. If you were born to be a spiritual healer, people will often share their secrets and problems with you out of nowhere. Number 7. You are loved by children and animals. Animals and children both have highly developed intuition and can sense who will look after, protect, and heal them when they are in need. In other words, animals and children sense pure souls, souls that seek to heal, love, and protect rather than harm, and will seek their presence. If you have an affinity for animals and children, you are probably born to be a spiritual healer. Number 8. You need time in nature. Spiritual healers are highly sensitive to energies, and so, they always seek out places where they can cleanse themselves of negative energies. Spiritual healers long to spend time in nature, as they are aware that nature cleanses and heals them, as well as nourishes their soul on a deeper level. Number 9. You tend to read people. Reading other people's energy and intentions will come naturally to you as a spiritual healer. Before you were born, you were given several spiritual gifts that were intended to help you understand people on a deeper level, as this is the only way you can heal them. Divinity has blessed you with the ability to read other people's energy and intentions so that you can truly understand what is going on in someone's heart and mind and offer them appropriate guidance. Of course, this ability will benefit you in everyday life because you will be able to tell when someone's actions do not match their words or energy, and you will be difficult to fool or lie to. Number 10. You always help others. If you were born to be a spiritual healer, you have always felt compelled to help others. You enjoy taking advantage of any opportunity to assist that the universe provides you, even if it is as simple as lending your friend a dress that she really likes buying someone a random cup of coffee, or feeding a stray cat. Also, if you can't be selfish and value people and animals more than material things, you are most likely born to be a spiritual healer. Number 11. You tend to be an introvert. Healers are multidimensional beings who move between the visible and unseen worlds. If you are a healer, you may find it difficult to navigate the 3D realms of this dimension which may cause you to withdraw into yourself to visit the realms of consciousness where you feel most at home. You need time to rest, recharge, and re-energize, especially after periods of intense social interaction. Number 12. You feel like you are meant for greater things. Healers have a big vision for their lives. They have defined boundaries and are willing to do the work when inspired. Knowing where and when you feel inspired, empowered, engaged, and motivated to bring your unique gifts and talents to life is the key to bringing your calling to life. Would you like to discover why things are happening in your life based on nothing more than your name and date of birth? Then click the link in the description below to claim your free Life Path numerology reading. Unlock the hidden messages in your personality code and reveal the challenges that may be blocking your journey. So. What are you waiting for? Get your free reading today, while the universe is still calling. That said, the path of a spiritual healer is difficult, but it becomes very magnificent once you realize how rewarding it can be to assist others on their healing journey. So, are you a spiritual healer? Comment down below, share this video with everyone, and help others find the truth about themselves. Give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for something even more divine and beautiful coming your way.